Okay. This should be us. Okay. Okay. Yes? Can everybody hear us? Can you hear me? I'm sure there's a song for that, but I don't know. Hey! Yeah. And we're hey. good! Sorry, y'all. Streamlabs just straight crashed. Uh, so it I missed hit, you. It hit the button that said yes video back and would not hit the button that said sound back. So that was really an awkward spot for it to crash. <laughs> but we're here and we're, we're great. Here. And we're going to forget all about that because Vanessa's going to tell us about our charity instead. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yes. So we are uh, doing this. <clears throat> I am so sorry, guys. We are doing this stream for the uh, National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Uh, they are a leader in suicide prevention and mental health crisis care. They receive uh, ongoing consultation and guidance from the national from National Suicide Prevention experts, consumer advocates, and other stakeholders. Um, we are so, so pleased to be able to do this stream for this charity. Um, as I said, a lot of, I think a lot of TTRPG players and gamers in general um, have struggled with mental health issues. And so it is something that is very important to us to bring awareness to, and also to make sure that these resource, resources are available to people that really need them. Um, so any little bit helps, uh, even if it's just a dollar. And again, we do still have some amazing giveaways for you guys. So uh, even if you just donate one dollar, that's one entry to win these amazing things. So uh, we are going to go ahead and do uh, two giveaways right now. We have the Sourcebook Bundle from D&D &D Beyond. And that is going to go to... Uh, yes, Bert. I don't know if that's correct. Yes! That's my mod! That's my mod! Oh, nice! Okay, so I got it right. Congrats! <laughs> they deserve it. Yes. Yay! So if you're not in chat, uh, if you are in chat, go ahead and get in touch with us. If not, we will try to email you after we are done. Um, and our next giveaway is for the home bakery. Um, I think that you know more about this one than I do. Real quick. The home bakery. Uh, um, it is a, it's another um, module. It's very cool. This is also key. Um, and so that I'm one. I'm pulling it up right now. Sorry, things are loading. Um, okay. So the home bakery uh, PDF is called Fanciful Feywild Dangers and Delights. And it is a supplement for D&D, specifically like Feywild flavored. It contains three lineages, 15 lineage feats, nine subclasses, 34 wondrous items, 19 spells. It has all sorts of stuff in it that will help you really flavor your Feywild campaign. So uh, thank you so much. And it's not just Home Bakery, by the way, but also uh, Pedro Filippo and Wonder and Widgets Workshops all worked on that together and all donated it together. And that was my mistake for just saying that it was the Home Bakery. I missed the other two, but they all worked very hard and were all very generous and we thank them very much. Oh, excellent. All right. Um, so that is going to be, the winner for that is going to be Kevin. <laughs> Congratulations! Congrats! Uh, we will get in touch. Um, if you are, again, if you're in chat, go ahead and just send us a message. And if you're not, we will get in touch with you after our done with the stream. All right. And with that, we will be back into the action. So, where we left off, uh, this ooze had sort of enveloped this small child and they are now attempting to fight it off as it appears to be the source of this nastiness that is seeping into their tree and destroying their home and uh, we are at the top of the order so professor pumpernickel um would you like with to minty lifting up the ooze uh is can i see the kid underneath there still um 
<laughs> um, you don't see the actual. Uh, no, you know what? I'm gonna have you roll perception for me. Okay. It's not gonna count as uh, your action. Uh, All right. Yeah. So um, you don't see the actual child, but what you do see is as Minty sort of lifting it. You see this sort of like dip in where the ooze is that appears to be where the child would be. So is there enough space if like if I got down there, I could like stick an arm in there and like pull them out like it's you know the matrix. Uh, you can certainly try. Okay. All right. So I am fifty feet away. I'm gonna use uh, twenty feet of movement to kind of fly that direction. Misty step for another thirty to get to that area. All right. I'm gonna. St- I am a scientist. I don't care. I stick my arm in there. And try to like grab the kid as like, like, and do I feel her in there? Um, so I'm gonna have you go ahead and roll, roll athletics for me. Okay. Ooh, and I took. Let's see here. I took the feet to athlete. Does that help me? I usually don't play athletic sports. Okay. Ooh. Uh. Not athletic. That's a five. <laughs> five? Okay. Um, you do still have one guidance if you would like to try to. Oh, my setting? And that was a D4. D4, yeah. Spent all over That's three. So that's an eight. So, uh, I wanted. I went ahead and ruled uh, if it's athletics against your athletics to see uh, who would win this battle of strengths. And I had to roll it at disadvantage because somebody uh, got another uh, disadvantage for me. So whoever did that, it was thank you. Good, good job, Anya. Yeah, the benevolent. You dip the benevolent. <laughs> so they actually got a six. Oh my god! <laughs> on my. So, yeah, no, you, uh, all right, you, um, <laughs> you managed to, with all of your tiny strength, you just, like, jam your hand in there and grab the first solid thing and manage to. Awesome. I got 10 feet of movement left. I moved 10 feet. I already interacted with an object, but yeah, I'm just be like, hey, kid. Just, just hide somewhere. Get as far away as you can. We'll come back and help you out. Okay. Be okay. All right. That's good. My, my turn. All right. That means that Themboculus, you are up. At the beginning of Vembo's turn, I'd like to kind of like look over at them and go, "Hey, I got a plan. Get big with me." <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um, so I would like to, first things first, I would need to take Bean Dip out of my crop top, um, and put him kind of like on my man bun back here. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to wild shape into a giant fiend spider. And I like to imagine that little bean dip is holding on to the floofs <laughs> of part this gargantuan beast of legs and fangs. So uh, I feel like and we, we just tra- went from Fern Gully and now we're doing Ratatouille where bean dip is like- <laughs> the, Yeah, the like uh, rat that's on your head, like control. The crossover, <laughs> we never knew we needed. Um, and then so as a speeder, I would like to just like, and I'd like Bean Dip's help. Um, I would bean say, Bean Dip, grab a vine. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to grab a couple of vines and just start trying to get, get, get a little, I just, I'm trying to build, I'm trying to make a web. I'm trying to make a web. But I need, I'm going to use the vines to like head start because this, this speeder butt can only make so much web so quickly. So okay. we need. We, we're having, we're doing like a, a multi-fiber mixed media web moment. Okay. And Bean Dip uh, is going to, Bean Dip will assist you. I'll say that Bean Dip will try to assist you with his little froggy 
little froggy fingers. Bless. Bless us, bless. Um, does, does, Bean Dib- does Bean Dip look cool as fuck? Yeah, he does. Come on. He is always looking fly. Like, he looks amazing. Bean Dip oh, is, is all awesome. worth it. It was all worth it. <laughs> Bean Dip here. He can do no wrong. <laughs> all right. So, you guys are making just like a web out of the vines. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to spend our turn kind of like away. I want, I see, I see Minty with, with a pile of ooze. And I think, what is that? Okay. What is the slime that you throw at the wall that like rolls down? A gack? A gack. Sure. I, gack? I'm think I have, I'm having flackback visions to gack days of yore <laughs> and I'm like, I need, I need to make a wall for this gag. I need to, I need to be the wall I want to see in the world. And so that's what I'm doing. Yes. Okay. That sounds great. <laughs> be the wall. See the wall. Yeah. 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 Gack. Oh. All right. Cool. All right. So uh, you guys are currently making a web of vines. Uh, and that is going to bring us to Minty. Excellent work. Uh, Minty is going to heave ho and try and yeet as much of the ooze as is fairly possible uh, into <laughs> that spider web. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's terrifying. It's like, yes. yeah, it's only a little bit horrifying. Um, all right, I'm going to have you go ahead and roll athletics for me again. Oh, I was not prepared. You got this. Oh, I'm sorry. I bet that cackle was loud as hell on stream. Whew, athletics? Okay, I know what's going yeah. on. Um, oh, crap, that's a six. That's not going to do it. Um, So, eight. But I'm going to use my... I mean, I guess I'll use my guidance. It doesn't matter. Ten. <laughs> oh. Hold on a second, yeah. actually. I might be an idiot because I have Giant's Might going right now. Yes. Oh, yeah, you should be stronger. Yeah. Well, I have advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. I don't know if that counts for athletics, too. So... The, I I would say yes because athletics is strength based, yeah, and so. the way that the way that I I run games I don't Stats normally make people. That's twenty. Sorry, I didn't. Oh yeah. boy! Yeah. All right. I just that's fine. Got excited. Yeah. You know how it goes sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I was just gonna say that uh, you know, since I don't usually make people make checks with their like strength or charisma or whatever I, I would say that yeah if it's if it's like an ability check that's strength based you could use it so there we go excellent so Which, yes nat 20 so yeah that brings it up to a 24 uh, for yeet. yeet yes i would say that that definitely beats the dc to yeet the gack uh <laughs> <laughs> so you with all of your giant minty might take this thing and just leave and it uh smacks into the webbing that uh Ambonculus is starting to weave over there um i am going to have you take another Ooh, 10 points of poison damage i'll take it that's fine and uh then Bonculus, i am going to have you roll a dexterity save i would love nothing more um, hold on, let me look up my completely new stats, though. Oh, you I'm, are I'm so a dex. I'm perfect. Eric. God, Eric! Shame on you. I'm yelling at you too in chat. Oh. Um, mm. I got. I actually got an eleven. Okay, let me see. You have. What? I have web sense, which means when in contact with a web, I know the exact location of any other creature in contact with the same web. Is that anything? <laughs> uh, no, because the I check was s- for you to uh, avoid any of the incoming yak. Uh, I, I, 
ignore movement restrictions caused by webbing. Is that anything? <laughs> uh, you are going to take four points of poison damage. As I this- am immune to poison. There you <laughs> go. You beat so, it. Basically, this thing gets like thrown towards you, smacks into the web, sticks, get a little bit of the gook on you, but like, I know. Uh, and yeah, is there anything else that you would like to do, uh, Minty? Um, I would like to, uh, stare at it intimidatingly and then, was that my action to yeet? I assume yeet is an action. Yes. Okay. Uh, so I would also like to use a, um, action surge to All right. find the closest thing to Gak nerds and maul it in the Gak nerds. Please. Okay. I know that it's not going to do much damage, but shoot, I'm throwing things all over the place. Please ignore me. I have a dice tray, and one day I'm going to make it into the dice tray. <laughs> one day. I feel, I'm about that life. I know that. Them right. feels. Right. Um, but that's only an 11 to hit, so probably today is not that day. Uh, no, it does. It hits. Oh, neat. Um, okay. Five. Plus five is ten. Plus two is twelve. So that is 12 uh, bludgeoning damage as I just like eh, with all. Right. all. I and just then... threw this thing. So did I, I threw them all. I think I probably just like used them all as a bat to throw it. So that's how it's got the damage and the, yeah, that's what happened. Okay. <laughs> okay. I baseball uh, batted it. All right. Um, yeah. So your mall just like buries itself in this thing, which is now sort of, Th- grown several tentacles and is sort of flailing around a little bit as it gets thrown through the air and is clearly not used to being airborne. Uh, we do actually have another Fey foraging, so give me one. Let's see what you guys get. Real quick. Uh, uh, uh. Aw, let's see. POV, you're stuck in my web. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh, Okay, uh, then Bonculus, you you see as you're weaving this web, all of a sudden you look you look down into the uh, beautiful carpet of vines and grass that you created, and you see these glowing little green mushrooms. <gasps> I love them. I'm immediately distracted. I try to lie on the ground to make eye contact with them, but I have too many eyes as a speeder. Okay. Um, what do I do? It's up to you. Are they nice? Are they nice mushrooms? They seem very friendly. <laughs> Can I speak with them? Can a spider speak to a mushroom? I don't. Look I, into your heart. Look <laughs> into your heart. Can a spider speak to a mushroom? I don't think so. I, it's up to you. You can either pick them up or you can leave them. I can't just pick a mushroom without asking permission first. Okay. So, okay. Well, I'll just come back to them later. I'll I'll All wave right. high with at least two legs. Okay. Um, Can and then just be real careful about keeping the gack away from them. All right. That sounds good. All right, Azura, you are up. All right. Everyone is away from this, right? Yes. Everyone has stepped back. Okay. Yes, in the distance. I'm gonna yes. fly back, look to the heavens, and cast Moonbeam on this creature. All right. So that's Moonbeam. Um, let me find it on my character sheet. Sorry, I do normally okay. actually keep this open. Forty sure. foot cylinder, five foot radius. Uh, you are making a Constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, 
All right, let's see. Sir. Ouch. Uh, and don't listen to what Eric said. That is a 16. 16. Oh, shoot. Yes. I gotta look at my casting modifier, right? My casting. Yeah, so it, if it meets or beats, then it is, I believe, half damage. Yes. Okay. Uh, my save DC is thir- Is it save DC 13? No. Where is it? Yeah, it, it'll be your save DC. So it's 13. Okay, so it'll take half damage. All right, that's fine. Here we go. More damage than I can do. Help me! Yep. Uh, five plus four is nine. Not great. Nine? Okay. Well, you, I mean, this moonbeam, like, jets down onto it, and this, like, radiant flame sort of, like, uh, uh, dances all over the surface of it as it just, like, Uh, you said nine. Yeah. All right. As it starts to almost, it looks like it's almost starting to like wither a little bit. Okay. Uh, it is now the Ooze's turn. Ah. Right. So it is going to try to cast. Let's see. Yes. Uh, okay. So it is going to try to cast. I need everyone to go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. And if you're near me, as plus two, please. So that will be. How many feet is near? I might need it. Fourteen for Azura. Okay. Um, it's. I believe it's. How many feet, uh, Azura? Um, the, I think it's ten feet, right? It's. Yeah, I believe so. Let me all look. Uh, or protection, 10 feet. Yes, 10 feet around me. Okay. Um, so that should be pretty much everybody, actually. Because you guys are all in fairly close proximity to this thing. Oh, sorry, what do we add? Plus two, if you're Plus near two. me. Um, my aura protection. I still, I got a nine. Um, Did you know I that speed are not very smart? <laughs> I got a nine, too. <laughs> Uh, Jesus. And Diana and Jenna all have, yes. unfortunately, at least you don't, but and Diana and Jenna all have uh, a, a okay. guidance if you would like to use it. I oh. got a 19, so I think I'm fine. And okay. question. I'll use guidance. Is, yes. Is Thimbonculus smarter as a spider than they were before? You know, actually, the crazy thing is that Wisdom is like my power stat. I have plus plus six wisdom. Um, it's just that there's like so many different kinds of intelligence, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. And like some people can like read, and that's cool. But some people can talk to mushrooms, and that's cool too. And that's fine. Yeah. All right, guys. Everybody, uh, let's start with Azura. What was your what was your save? Um, twelve, thirteen. 14, so, and then you said there's guidance, yes? Yes, so that's a D4. 14, okay, give me one second, I'm sorry. Four, okay. Whoop, in my box. Oh, yes, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, you are okay. Uh, then Bonculus, what'd you get? 11. 11, okay. Uh, Minty, what did you get? 19. 19, you're okay. And then, uh, Professor, what did you get? Nine. <laughs> Nine, okay. So, Boys, Professor geez. and Thembonculus, you are now confused. I was, I was always confused. confused. So, on your yeah. turn, I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll for you, okay? So, and so, basically, it just, like, smacks down two of its tentacles, and uh, Azura and Minty, you guys feel the shockwave but it doesn't actually affect you and Bonculus and professor you guys both kind of get hit with it and you're just a little bit uh woozy what? and a little bit confused uh and then Wait, is bean dip confused bean dip is not confused bean dip is never confused 
Can Bean Dip pilot? Can Bean Dip take the wheel? <laughs> Can Bean Dip take the wheel? Oh my god. Uh, Please! Awesome. I have reins and everything. He's there. He's got the fur. We will <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Did you know that if you donate, Bean Dip can take the wheel? For for a hundred dollars, Bean Dip takes the wheel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Uh and it is going to make an attack against you, Mitty. It sure can try. Tentacles! That is a 15. Uh, 15 does not hit. Minty's armor class is 17. Nice. Oh boy! As it tries to whack you with one of the tentacles and misses, it is like flailing around in this like sort of net thing. So it's not being super accurate anyway. The confusion blast is it just kind of being like, what? All right, Professor, you are up. Let me roll for you real quick. You <laughs> lose wisdom saves. Oof. Um. See. Uh, so you can't move this turn, but you can go ahead and take your. You can still take your action. Uh, I had my pair of pliers with me, so do you think I can still cast a spell if I can't move if my focus is on? Um, yeah, so you can still cast it. You just can't yes. physically, you can't physically okay. move this turn. Okay, so I'm like frozen. You're like rooted <laughs> in the spot. But you see my little pliers start to glow with lightning. And this time I'm going to choose thunder. Uh, does this affect my attack roll or anything? Uh, a 16 to hit. That hits. Okay. Oh, it's under, uh, so, third level spell slot. Another chromatic orb, thunder style. Thunder, 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 thunder. Ugh, only 11 thunder damage, though. So. Uh, plus right. one, because I used my tool. Which I forgot to do last night, so 12. All right. Uh, as it sort of, this thunder just, like, bursts out of this orb and rocks it. It's almost like the, like, the glass of water in, a uh, Jurassic Park, where it sort of, like, ripples mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, and it lets out this, like, ah! kind of shriek, and, like, it's looking, it's not looking happy. Uh, and it, for my homunculus... Can I do a command mentally, you think? Or does it need to be verbal? Um, gonna, it's like a machine. Does it say that, that you can communicate with it, like, telepathically? Oh, uh, it just says it obeys your commands. Um, I would say it's probably got to be verbal, yeah. Um, since it's a, it's a construct, right? Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, is that going to be the end of your turn? Oh, so uh, I cannot command it, yeah? Um, I, uh, no, you know what? I think that you can as an as a part of your turn, right? So just mentally, artificer. I'm going to tell the humunculus, uh, he's like a little shoe bill bird to hop mm -hmm. off me and to guide the child away and like hide. So okay. he's going to be all like, kind of like, this way toward the kid. I don't know if the kid's going to listen, but that's the end of my turn. Okay. All right. Them, you are up. Okay, listen. Here is my argument. Okay. For why Bean Dip takes the wheel. Well, I just I rolled for you, and the condition actually doesn't affect you. You can. I don't care. I want Bean Dip to take the wheel. Okay, like, okay, okay. We are we already have a beast bond um, that has been established. We ha we telepathically communicate, not right now, because I can't cast as a speeder, but I like to think there's residual. There's like, I If I could residually talk to the, the plant, I can residually talk to Bean Dip. You've created precedence in this house. I mean, speak with plants lasts like 10 minutes, right? How long does Yeah, and like... Let's see. Uh, up to it lasts up to 10 minutes. But it is a concentration spell. 
They're all concentration spells. Which means, yes, but when you- What I'm saying is you gave me an inch and now I'm taking a mile. You let me have Speak With Plants still works after I was stopped concentrating on it, at least for a millisecond. Therefore, Communicate with Bean Dip still works for me to be like, hey, buddy, what are we going to do? You know what? I'll allow it. Rule (laughs) four. Um, what does bean dip? I would like to, I would like to see it in my action to bean dip. What does, what does he want to do? Uh, bean dip <laughs> wants to help Minty at all costs because Minty is his, his buddy. And so he wants to do what's going to help Minty. Okay. So what's, when, t- but Minty is, okay, here's what I'm going to do that. I'm going to be like, all right, loud and clear, 10, four, little buddy. Uh, and like, rush in all my little speeder web um, between Minty and Ooze. Can I do that? Yes. And then I would like to do a big chomp. Okay. Ah. All right. Roll to attack. That is a 19. That hits. We're about to find out what flavor (laughs) black jello is. I'm so excited. Um, so it does only does four piercing damage, but I want to know, can I do poison damage? <laughs> uh, you can certainly try. Um, it must make a DC 11 constitution saving throw or take uh, seven poison damage or half as much on a successful one. Okay. So as you fight it, you try to like pump the poison from your fangs into the creature no effect. It's nothing else. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use the rest of whatever movement I have left over to just continue like going around it and winding it up in webbing. Okay. So if uh, if you're going to do that, then I am going to say that on it on its turn, it's gonna have to make it. Just kind of break up. So for right now, we, we will consider it to be um, at the very least restrained. Yeah, and I think I, I think chat wants to know, and I want to know. What does Gak taste like? Gak tastes like, you know, when you bite into like a sandwich and you didn't realize that the bread was really moldy. And then you also didn't realize that the cheese was kind of moldy too. Uh uh That's what it tastes like. I don't know what that's like, thankfully. It's not great. Moldy bread, (laughs) yes. Moldy cheese, I think it's supposed to be like that. I mean, it depends on the cheese. I think. Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about me and my eating habits. <laughs> the show must go on. Uh, Are you uh, eating <laughs> raccoons again? No. Uh, <laughs> Mindy, you're up. <laughs> oh, I uh, did not prepare for this. Um, I can do pretty much nothing. So what I'm going to do, so, so how does this thing look? Uh, it looks real unhappy. Excellent. Okay, with a stick. I a stick. am also not happy about this. So I am going to um, take off the arm guards from my fancy armor because my armor is magic. And uh-huh. the arm, like, part of it's kind of, like, pointy. So I'm going to take off the, it's, like, adamantine ar- uh, armor I think I have. And I'm okay. going to use that and just start stabbing this thing with my magical armor so that it will be a magical All right. attack. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm going to have you roll an unarmed. Sure. Um... And that is a 10 to hit. Uh, that hits. Okay, well then it does three damage. And then I'm going to use my second attack and try and hit again. All right. And that's more than a 10, so another three damage. Okay, well, what does it look like when you're assaulting this thing with your abrasers? <laughs> um, I think Minty's armor is... Uh, very used. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
she's been around a while. Um, so probably parts of it are maybe a little bit more, we'll say, serrated than what was necessarily intended the armor to be, just because of the savory types of people that she ends up having very, uh, casual communications with that she might need that sort of thing. Um, okay. So I think she's just, like, kind of carving into it and almost using the arm brace part of it as, like, a almost like a shovel. So she's, like, carving in and then, like, lopping pieces off so that it's trying to make it, like, smaller. All right. So you go in and just, like, and are just literally, like, flipping pieces of this thing all over the place. And each time, it seems like it just gets a little smaller and a little smaller until it kind of, like, It withers it down. My bones! My bones! My bones! And it's just sort of like seeps down and all of a sudden you see this like kind of pile of goop get like sucked out of the water and it's like with full force this tidal wave of like darkness comes out crashes down and just yes. dissipates. Yes. And it looks beautiful, the water. Once oh. again. Um, I'm going to run over and sorry, I'm going to run over and high five Minty. That's my girl. That's uh, my girl. Which I'm still mega Minty right now. So this oh, is like so a... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and so the little girl who is, who has been sort of led away by your homunculus, um, walks back up to you guys and is, oh, thank you. I could never have done that by myself. You're free now. Yes. Do you want to come back with us? Yes, please. I want to go home. We'll find your mother. Thank you. Uh, and that is the exciting conclusion of our Into the Feywild uh, yes. one shot. I'm sorry that went a little longer. I'm surprised that we anticipated being a little bit of an issue, but we did it. And I really apologize because we got to see Bean Dip ride a fiend spider, and that's yeah. horrible. I would also, as we are, as we, I will use my last wild shape to turn into a giant toad so that Bean Dip can have a big brother. Oh <laughs> so. my God. Uh, yeah. And we can just hang out. I just want to talk. And about Bean, Dip, feelings. Bean Dip hops over and just like sits in front of me. I get on he my belly on the ground and try to make eye contact. Oh my god. <laughs> He's very, very pleased. Uh, Alright guys, so uh, real quick before we have a couple more people or a couple more prizes to announce but before we do that really quickly, I want to let everybody plug their stuff again. So, uh, Diana, what you got going on? Yes, hi guys. Um, I'm Diana Restrepo. You can find me on all the socials, Instagram, Twitter, at Diana Rest 3. I'm also all over the DAT network on um, on, Mo on VODs and stuff, but I, right now I'm doing Harbingers, sorry, my crown, Harbingers, Tuesday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Catch me playing a witch in the Savage World setting. It's amazing, it's so much fun. Megan Caves is the GM and she's fantastic. Also soon, I'll be back on the Norse Foundry channel. Eric Frankhaus will be our GM for that. Can't wait, I'm so excited. Um, and that's it. That's all I got at the moment. All right. And Jenna, what you got going on? Uh, too much, usually. Uh, my name is Jenna, and you've probably seen me around as Cubist Octopus. Uh, if you're on Discord, I probably mod your Discord server as Cubist Octopus. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I stream for LD&D, and next month we are going to be starting back up Siren Squad. And we are going to be, 
I've got a couple more uh, spooky season mini campaigns in the works, and we're going to be kind of like redoing how we handle streaming on LD&D. So stick around for that. And I guess Very the exciting. most precious pressing thing is that uh, tomorrow afternoon, because I'm a masochist, we are going to continue uh, This Old House with Gob Vila. So if you like uh, revamping homes for vampires to live in and you like goblins and uh, things, then you should come watch my band of goblins try and slowly take over this TV show from Gob Vila. Yeah. All right. And what you got? Hi. Things. Hi, I'm No Man. I'm primarily a D&D streamer. I usually am a dungeon master. So thank you so much for having me. It's so much fun to come and be a player. Uh, I forget sometimes that uh, <laughs> just being one person can be good too. So that was great. Um, <laughs> I'm just so used to being the universe. Uh, I run a campaign called, an ongoing campaign called Be Gay, Do Crime, which rotating cast of queer streamers are sent as initiates to the Alphabet Mafia to take on illegal quests to further the gay agenda. It's about as ridiculous as it sounds. Um, I am also starting a brand new campaign on a new channel called Witch and Famous, famous spelled like Fae. Uh, and we are going to be taking off into the Fae wilds because, because it's great. And because I needed an environment that was as chaotic as me and a place that I could put some long Furbies. Really, it's mostly about the long Furbies. Um, and last but not least, it is my one year affiliate anniversary Ooh. coming up um, like next weekend. So I am last minute decided I'm going to be doing a 12 hour D and D stream. Um, if anyone wants to hang out and play D and D, <laughs> I'm going to need a hundred players and it's going to be ridiculous. Oh, um, okay. So... We'll talk after this. You sound like yeah. you need help. Oh no, it's fine. I, this is, this is like the vibe. I just kind of, throw things into the universe i'm like this will resolve it'll it's be great. gonna be great <laughs> we have very different planning styles jenna <laughs> you, and i love it. i am so thankful that you think that but it is actually <laughs> not true <laughs> <laughs> all right and elise what do you got Hi everyone, uh, my name is Elise. Uh, you'll see me on social media at Vegan Elise. I am a TTRPG game designer on DM Skill Drive Through RPG. I'm the project lead of the Through the Veil series, Feywild for DD. We got adventures, we got magic items with really cool backstories like Feywild. Um, and uh, some of our uh, Oh god, I'm tired. Some of my recent releases uh, that include some of my writing are Incredible Creatures on uh, Director RPG, uh, Black Staff's Tome of Wizardry, and many more. So yeah, thanks so much for having me. It's super fun. <laughs> hey. um, and I am Vanessa, your lovely GM. Uh, I don't do too, too much in terms of uh, a lot of uh, streaming and stuff, but I do. GM the Hell's Bells, which is on Nerdland UG. Uh, we are starting back up at the beginning of October ish. Um, so if you want to come and watch a bunch of um, <laughs> tieflings plus one angel uh, tear it's shit magical up. Magical girl tieflings. Yes, magical girl squad. Uh, magical tiefling girl squad. So Sundays uh, on Nerdlandia, we are there. And I'm super excited to be starting that back up again because we left off on a super cliffhanger. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. Vanessa, uh, can I just add one more thing? Yeah. I wasn't sure if I, was I wasn't allowed to, but Eric Frankhouse Presents in chat has told me that on Norse Foundry channel, uh, October 11th, it's going to be called, uh, <laughs> sorry, Alien Connections, Blade Runner meets Aliens. I am so excited because I'm playing the Blade Runner. I oh, go. nice. Love Thanks, sorry, thank you so that. much. Yeah, isn't that cool? I'm so excited. I'm so it excited. It definitely sounds like a sci-fi dating show. Oh. Um, and I'm just saying you should remain open to that idea. <laughs> Keep it in mind. Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap this up really quickly because it is getting pretty late. But uh, we have a couple more things to give away. Uh, we have a second copy of the home bakery that uh, Jenna was speaking about earlier. And that is going to the uh, Initiative League crew. Ooh. So they that have gotten to good use. Yeah. Yes, congrats. Um, and 
Next, we have the two copies of the Through the Veil that Elise has written and so generously donated to us. And for those, we have Sparky DeVries and Tara. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, those are PDF copies of the uh, that lovely Elise has given to us. They're super cool. So uh, we're very excited to get and last, but certainly not least, we have our Norse Foundry, Yggdrasil, mm, nice. Always, uh, Norse Foundry is always super generous and they have given us these. They're very excited to be giving them away. Uh, thanks guys, we appreciate it. And those are going to Pixel May DM. Yeah! Thanks, so, Ryan. I'm so glad you made it. Yeah. I popped, oh. in, I popped into Pixel's chat while we were playing and I had, I had them muted, but I was like, hey, I saw that you were streaming, so I just want to like pop in and say hey while we're in the charity stream. And all I saw was the... <sighs> like, and I was like, oh, <laughs> I think Pix forgot. <laughs> all right, guys, so that is everything. Thank you to everyone who tuned in and everyone who donated. We really, yes. really appreciate it. It looks like we raised about $70. Um, we are going to leave the link up until uh, we are going to leave it until Defy Live until tomorrow, so that if people who weren't here or weren't able to donate and they still want to, you can. Um, we have it posted in our Discord and it will remain on our uh, Twitch channel. If you go and to all our socials as well, should still be yeah, up. and all of our socials, it should still be up. So feel free. Again, this is such a great cause. Um, thank you to everyone who tuned in and everyone who donated. Thank you to all of our players. For being Yay. here, we really appreciate it. And I do want to give a special shout out to Jenna who created all of the overlays and did all of the streaming for this. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to our behind the scenes people, Ali and Casey for keeping us on track mostly and helping us out immensely. Uh, so thank you to everybody behind the scenes. And again, special shout out to Jenna for creating our overlays and doing the stream, which oh, always- We didn't use any okay. of them, so just pretend. Oh. <laughs> no, but I mean, this is so beautiful. So thank you ev again, everybody. And hopefully we will see you soon on this Twitch channel. Thanks guys. Bye friends. Bye. 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 <laughs>